Full review of this fragrance pour homme de Kiran Le Soir coming right up. Peace be with you everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Trevor, very grateful to have you here. In today's video, I just wanted to do a full review of this fragrance, which is one of my favorite iris fragrances in my collection, Pour Un Homme de Caron Le Soir. So if you are familiar with this house, Caron, this is a flanker to their flagship original fragrance, Pour Homme de Caron. The original, which is in a green kind of minty looking glass. This is, for those who are a fan of the original, a flanker which stays true to the DNA. I believe this was a 2022 release and done by their new in-house perfumer Jean-Jacques. And like I said, this is an iris based fragrance. So some of the main notes that come out to me are going to be iris, oak, lavender, and vanilla. And so... I'll put the entire note breakdown on screen, but this is a very aromatic, sweet, woody, and smoky fragrance. These are the four chords that really stick out to me with this based on the note breakdown that we have. In terms of those accords, I would say the aromatic side really pops from the lavender in here, the sweet nuances from the iris and vanilla and then the smoky facets coming in from notes like cypress and woody oak which is one of the main distinguishing facets about this fragrance that separates it from others in the same vein on the market so in addition to having the those notes and scent profile it also has a certain textural identity i would say so the main textural feels that i get from this are creamy and powdery as well as dry and airy so it, it does have an almost dusty quality to it from the way that it is uh, dry light and airy while also being very dense and warm and rich so you have a combination of all those facets going on in here, making it a very easy to wear fragrance, I would say, because of that light, airy, dry quality going on. Now, in terms of fragrances that I would say are close to this one that are on the market, it would be things like Le Malle Parfum, I find is really the closest fragrance that... I can think of in my collection to this, as well as Ted Lapidus Poker Face, which is a discontinued cheapie, but that was sort of like an iris flanker to Alanoui de Lome, of which this shares some similarities to as well, being a lavender-based fragrance, kind of date night typical. Other fragrances, like I said, are the Alanoui de Lome line, Blue Electrique, Ted Lapidus Poker Face. Um, not quite identical in terms of scent profile there are some big differences but interlude man black iris from amwaj that is also another semi-sweet very smoky dark iris based fragrance this one i would say is a lot less smoky than that fragrance maybe a little bit less herbaceous and sharp this is kind of a smooth operator i would say in terms of the demographic of who would rock this fragrance somebody that works smarter not necessarily harder i think this is great for anybody in their 25 plus range it's not quite youthful but it is fun and not quite playful but just i guess a nice seductive almost playboy style fragrance somebody that is working in a position of easy come easy go style money like real estate or investing I think would be great for this somebody that is like an heir to a fortune who doesn't have to work but does have to be disciplined in order to manage that estate that they have gotten a hold of you know like people win the lottery and end up in debt shortly thereafter because they are not used to uh, managing money like that i think this is somebody that is going to be good with managing their money and like i said sm works smarter not harder and leverages things so that way even though <clears throat> they are living a little bit a life of ease they're do they're doing it in a way that other people can't so if it were that easy in truth then everyone would be doing it but they're intelligent and uh you know risky enough to be able to pull it off and so like those are some of the people that i could see really rocking this fragrance now in terms of the best season to wear this this is going to be spring fall and winter even summer nights i think this might be a little bit too much for that occasion so this is definitely more of a cold weather fragrance it is something 
that I think is suited for a date night. It does have this mysterious, seductive, uh, rich, inviting quality to it, but it also has this somewhat cold tonality to it, like a cold, well-polished wood, something maybe from the cypress giving it a mentholic quality that makes it a little bit cool to the touch, that aromatic side of the lavender making it a little bit more green in some sense. So it does have a grown-up facet to it, it has the flagship Caron Lavender in here, if you are familiar with the original. That's present here that gives it somewhat of that smooth, creamy quality, I would say. And if I had to think of some metaphors for how this fragrance smells when I get my nose on it, is that it definitely has a purple color scheme to it. The lavender and the iris coming together, I feel, do a really good job of presenting that tone. It also has... Uh, the sweet qualities in here are a bit reminiscent of cacao powder, the way that iris is done. Maybe with the vanilla in here coming together to give that dry, airy quality like a cacao powder. So some of the images that this comes to mind are like walking in a forest on a summer night where it's a full moon night and there's like a fog in the air. The fog is somewhat of that green and airy, light but also cold quality, like I said, from perhaps the cypress in here that is coming to the foreground. So like a moonlit forest on a foggy night. Somewhat of also like a coffee mug that has a bunch of hot cacao powder in it and a stick of fresh lavender. It's not quite been brewed yet, so you'd have that dry, dusty quality of the raw hot chocolate powder. But hot chocolate powder and lavender are some of the other images that come to mind with this. In terms of aesthetics, I find that this is very reminiscent of like going to a dimly lit, maybe candle lit style sports lodge or a gentleman's lodge with like a bust on the wall and a little bit of a purple color scheme and maybe some dark purple almost maroon style suede finishing on the armchairs and the cushions in the furniture in the lodge so a purple lodge is somewhat that image that comes to mind with this as well and then just also a a clearing of a plot of irises planted in a meadow in a oak forest so you're walking in an oak wood forest and there's a small clearing with a little bit of sunlight filtering through and some irises growing there so iris and oak are some of the other main sort of natural notes that are coming to the foreground in here alongside of that chocolatey sweetness of uh, cacao powder style and then the lavender so those are some of the main sort of images that come to mind when i think of this fragrance and in terms of projection and longevity we'll go ahead and just take a look at the atomizer pretty good atomizer i would say average nothing too crazy but it's wide enough that i'm not upset about it being narrow and the longevity i get about a good work day out of it it has pretty good projection for about one hour where you can really smell the scent cloud and then it dies down into something a little bit more intimate maybe half an arm's length to an arm's length and that lasts like i said for a full work day i get anywhere between seven plus hours and it's one that i do smell on myself when i wake up in the morning after falling asleep with it on and then in terms of price that is really one of the best things about this fragrance you can find 75 ml bottles of this on the discounters right now for under 45 dollars which i think is a steal like i said this is one of my favorite iris fragrances in my collection and then you can get the full 125 ml bottle for somewhere around 65 so i think this is a really great bang for your buck fragrance and awesome cheapy if you get the 75 ml bottle and if i had to give this a rating out of 10 I think objectively this is an 8 out of 10, but because it is my speed and I really like this fragrance personally, I'm inclined to rate it a 9, so I'm going to meet in the middle there and give this an 8.5 out of 10.